Excellent. Um, wow, what a feat of strength. It's been so many amazing um, presentations today. Um, I'm Leland. I, um, I'm an engineer at NVIDIA. I teach in architecture. I've uh, been in this space for almost a decade now. Uh, what you're seeing in the back is what I work on, which is Omniverse. Um, I work on the file format, uh, USD, um, developer tools for that. Um, there's a lot of people working on this project. It's a very young project. Some of you might be familiar with Omniverse um, and what we're trying to do, but um, in short, it is a computing platform for 3D. Um, you could do simulation in it. It's in its infancy. Right now, it's very good at visualizing, and in the future, it'll be good at many things. Um, uh, we target uh, a number of different industries, but right now our focus is um, manufacturing um, in automotive and um, adjacent. So uh, things are going really cool. Um, as you can see, um, there's a lot of ways to interact within Omniverse. Um, just giving a little couple minutes about Omniverse here. Um, it's kind of a hub for all sorts of data, um, the ability to kind of visualize it and um, be able to um, run simulations in this platform as well. Um, and cooperate all of it. Um, the thing that it is perhaps best at is actually being able to represent these very, very large, uh, very, very detailed uh, models. So um, it's data center scale. So um, the more uh, graphics cards and graphics power you need um, for larger models, BIM models, um, which include assets uh, such as this forklift at full fidelity, um, it has the ability to do that. And they can do all sorts of things like, uh, you know, traffic cone um, simulation. Uh, which is what you see here. Uh, earlier in the video, I think we had um, uh, umami uh, simulation here in the ramen shop, um, which is pretty sick. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about Omniverse or anything NVIDIA related, um, happy to ask me um, at any point. So super uh, cool. Thank you, NVIDIA, yay. Um, so uh, I will be moderating the AI and LLM panel. How exciting. Um, who here thinks that AI is going to take their job? No, I was kidding. No, we're not doing that. Uh, we're not doing that. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll do a little bit of that, um, but it'll be a discussion piece. Um, we have a powerhouse of a group here. I'm super excited um, to engage with them. Um, we have, uh, we'll be starting with Matias Del Campo. Um, he's a registered architect, designer, educator, and director of the AR2IL Laboratory, the Laboratory uh, for Architecture and Artificial Intelligence at U of M. Uh, he founded this with Sandra Manager in Vienna in 2003. Um, Span, uh, well, this is actually referring to something else. Um, Span is a, a globally uh, acting practice, best known for their application of contemporary technologies in architectural production. Their award-winning architectural designs are informed by advanced geometry, computational methodologies, and philosophical inquiry. Um, he is an associate professor uh, at the Taubman College of Architecture Urban Planning uh, at University of Michigan. Uh, so uh, please come up. Thank you very much.